Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamil Green, the Digital Midwife, and I am here today to talk to you about file management inside of Canva. And you might say, wow, you can manage your files in Canva? And yes, you can. And as you know, anytime you're able to manage your files, it helps you to save time and to work more effectively, right? Inside of Canva, there are two types of files, all right? There are your uploads and your designs. OK, and when you're working on your designs, Canva automatically saves those. All right. into just one big pile. Right. But it's up to you to manage those things. OK, so when you first get into Canva, you're going to see all your designs and you can see the created design, as you can see right here. Right. So everything you created it will be right there in front. And that's fine. Right. Nothing's wrong with that. It's a simple way to get to the, at least the things you just created recently. Right. But what if you created something a year ago and you want to get to it? Right. And maybe you can't remember the name of the file, but you know the person or the project you were working on. So having your files and photos created helps you to find things quickly. Right. As we talked about earlier, saving time. Right. So. Let's look over here on this on this left hand panel. If you look towards the bottom under your team, it says folders. So when I click on folders, it's going to open up on the right hand side with all the folders I've created. So when you're in here, you have this folder right here. It says all your designs and it just opens all the designs up, all the things you've liked, the things you purchased, things people have shared with you, all of your uploads. And if you put any logos there and then you start to see all the different folders you created so if you just start a new project the best thing to do would be to create a new folder and all you do is go to the right top hand corner and click on create new folder and when you get here you just name your folder just check it. and i like this feature that has been added right when you're creating the folders you can share it with certain team members um, just with their email addresses and you, they can either view it, edit it, or they can edit it and share it. Okay. And there's different reasons why you need each one of those things. But I really like the collaboration factor of being able to do that. All right. So once I create my folder, I'm just going to click on create. And when you create your folder, okay, there's a couple things you can do here. You can also create subfolders in Canva. Now, again, you know, I've talked to you about Canva Pro features, and this is one of those features, creating folders. Canva automatically gives you a couple folders in the free version of Canva, but the Canva Pro version, you're able to create unlimited folders, right? And inside of Canva, inside of the folders, you're able to create subfolders, which is a feature that I like that has been added. So as you can see, this folder is empty and it tells you upload your photos. You can move designs in here or you can create subfolders. So you can start selecting files from your computer or you can go into the designs you've created and start to move them into here. So let me show you how to create a subfolder. All you need to do is go right here to this little folder. It has a little plus sign there and you can create a subfolder. This is extremely good for people who are graphic designers to utilize this feature because when you have different projects you're working on, is you're able to, especially with one client and they may have several projects, this allows you to keep those things separate and easy access for you. As well as if you're kind of like a project manager for that person, as well as a graphic designer, it allows you to not only keep all one, all your files in one spot, but you can decide which folders get shared with what teammates, right? So that's an awesome tool for you to do as well. And then once you're here, it gives you every folder gets a menu. If you click on, click on those three dots, you can rename the folder, you can move the folder, share it, and of course, delete it, right? So those, that's how you set up your workspace for a project. That's at least how I do it, okay? So the next thing you want to do is, is once you get inside of a design, okay, I'm just picking any design to show you this part. Okay, so once you open up your file, whatever design you're going to create, it's going to automatically have poster or whatever the template you're using and it says untitled. Once you click inside of here, 
we're going to name it just checking it's going to allow you to rename the file and the reason why you want to rename the file or to name it at all is because it allows you not only to keep your files inside of canva named so you can find them but it also allows you when you download the file to have a name for it as well right when you start to manage your files on your actual laptop desktop whatever you're, you're using and when you click on the download well, let me actually put something here first rename okay so when you download your design it opens up another dialog box right you just save it to wherever file you want to save it to so another thing you want to be mindful of is that inside of um, canva when you're working on one document you can have multiple pages in a document right whether it's a flyer or anything all of them you can have multiple pages and you just start to create those pages and another feature that is in um canva out that i love is that it you know tells you page one page two and all that but you can now actually name those pages so if this is the cover page um i'll say dedication i'm just naming something right and the reason why this is very helpful is when you're working on a team you know and you're sharing these designs back and forth and maybe someone is working on a dedication page another person is working on um page five or whatever and you notice that within the team, okay, well, page five probably needs to be page two or something like that. Actually, naming these pages allows you to, you know, keep up with the transition. Okay, I just really like the fact that you can able you're able to name files and keep up with your file management in Canva. So once you're inside of your document and you're creating your design, you're able to get to your files over here on the left hand side. So say you want to add some of your uploads. If you go to uploads, it's going to just go to everything you've uploaded, right? But if you go to your folders and you specifically want to find a specific folder, you can type in that folder's name. Now, of course, if, you, if you're if you just getting started, this may not be helpful to you in the search feature, but creating your folders and stuff, this is why it gets helpful to you. As you can see, I have a lot of different folders within this program. And I'm just going to search for my folder. All right, so my name is in three folders, right? So whichever one I want to choose, I just click on it. And all those um, uploads that I've put inside of there are going to be there, right? Which is a very, very helpful thing to do when you're trying to get to a project quickly. All right, so let's recap. File management is important. We've, we've already established that. So working inside of Canva, you want to be able to create folders, subfolders, and also naming your files. It allows you to keep up with everything you have going on inside of Canva. It allows you to even share your projects and, you know, have names to those projects. And it's just a good thing, a good uh, productivity skill that I think people need to practice, even when you're doing graphic design. All right. So I hope this was very helpful to you today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you again for joining me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you next time.